Hey everybody, Carl Struff here from Snorkel.tv and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to use the pen tool to draw some simple shapes. It's a very powerful tool, which honestly I hate um, or have hated for a while, um, but I really want to get my hands around it and be able to explain it to you guys. Um, and like with anything, you got to start small. So what we're going to be building today is an umbrella that looks like this. Yes, it's a simple shape, but since it's a vector, it's, you know, it's razor sharp as I zoom in, looks really nice, all right, and crisp. So let's start by trying to draw this thing. Just burn that image into your heads. You may notice that I have um, the grid showing up here. The grid is made of 100 pixel wide and tall squares, and we can turn the grid on and off by going to view, grid, show grid, turns it off command semicolon or apostrophe we'll turn it back on neat little uh, trick there All right and it's just like working with a piece of graph paper it'll help you create straight lines and uh, have some symmetry in your drawing so using the pen tool I'm going to click to add my first point alright so I have one little dot there and I want to go over one two three four blocks and I'm going to click and drag my next point over here. And now as I pull this tangent handle, you'll notice that I can adjust the height of the curve, its depth, um, the general arc. And what I'm going to do is just sort of go for a curve somewhat like that. That's looking fairly symmetrical to my eye. And I'm going to release. Now, um, the next time I draw a point, it's going to connect from this dot right here and it's going to try to go out along where this tangent line goes. So let's just say I click right here randomly. You'll notice that the arc starts from that point and it follows that tangent but then gets forced over to where I click. And obviously that's not what I want so let's just command Z. And what I want to do is convert this point here to something called an, a corner point. Right now it's a point on a curve and it wants to keep curving. You'll notice that when I roll over that point, there's a little carrot to the lower right of my pen cursor. That's telling me that I am going to convert that curved point into an anchor point, or a, I'm sorry, a corner point. So let's click, and you'll notice that tangent handle goes away. I'm going to click right here, and then just pull up to draw that bottom arc. And I'm just going to do something like this. And I want to maintain the height of that arc across all the little panels that I'm going to be drawing. So I'm just going to pull a guide down real quick and lock it right on top there. Okay. Now notice that off of this point this tangent handle is coming down here. I want the next arc to go up away from there. So we're going to take this anchor point and convert it to a corner point. When I click on it that tangent handle goes away and I can click right here and drag a nice arc up and I'm just going to have it touch the tippy top of that line. And so I'm just going to make a series of these arcs by converting to a corner point by clicking. And then I'm going to click and drag and just do something like that. Again, convert to corner point. And now when I roll my cursor over this point, you'll notice that little closed circle shows up next to my pointer. That means that I'm going to close this path. I'm clicking directly on the opening point, and now I'll have a closed solid shape. If I click off of this or go over to my selection tool, now you'll see the shape. If I export my Swift, we won't see any of the lines from the grid or the guides, and I pretty much accomplished what I want for the top shape of that umbrella. Now, I do want to draw some panels in here, okay? So what we're going to do now, um, what we have to do is connect. Uh, we need to start drawing from an existing point on this line. So I'm going to toggle back to the pen tool. And one of the things about the pen tool is that you're always toggling between um, the pen tool itself, um, the ability to add an anchor point, to delete an anchor point, or to convert your anchor point from a anchor point to a corner or a corner to an anchor. And You'll see right now we have keyboard shortcuts for all these. P equals minus and C. Um, we'd want to mem we need to memorize these keyboard shortcuts as soon as possible. Okay, we're going to be using them quite a bit because we never want to have to go back over here to select our tools. All right, so 
let's go back to the pen tool just by hitting P. Okay, I'm already there. And notice when I roll over this point right here that I get this little slash. Um, that's telling me that I can start, I can continue drawing from that point right there. So I'm going to click just to highlight that point. And now I want this an arc to go up from this point sort of to the top middle of the umbrella. And I'm going to actually click and drag somewhere outside of the umbrella, okay? And notice what I'm doing here is I want that arc to intersect right at the top. And you'll notice that it leaves a point behind where it intersects, okay? So I know that I've totally closed off this path. The reason I went so far outside is because if I try to click on this line, chances are I might click below it or slightly above it. So I'm going to go with going way above it. And we're going to clean up that line later on. Now I want to draw a point from here down to here, okay? So I'm going to hit V, which is going to in effect, take me back to the regular selection tool, and I'm going to, t and that also deselects the path that I drew. I'm going to go back and hit P, get my pen tool again, and now I'm going to draw from that point right there. I get that forward slash, and I'm going to click, and not <laughs> look at that. Look, you do one thing wrong and it blows up. Bad move. Let's uh, go back to uh, V. P, and this is where it can get really tricky. It's a simple shape, but you mess something up and it's trouble. Click there once, and then we're going to click right here, and I'm just going to draw a little arc out like that. I'm going to go back and hit V to deselect all those points. Go back to P to set my pen tool up again, and I want to click right on that point, and then right on this one, and we're going to connect the dots. All right. So now I have the four panels that I want inside my umbrella. Hitting V again deselects everything. And now let's deal with this little overlap here. I'm just going to zoom in super far. You'll notice that all these lines are converging from that same point that I have up there. Um, we're going to use the subselection tool. And by using that, I can click on this path and I see all the different points and handles that have been used. Um, I can select multiple points and see their tangent handles. I just want to select this last point, and I'm going to delete it by hitting the, you guessed it, delete key. All right, so now that is deleted, and we'll zoom back out. Now I want to fill in these panels. I'm just going to use black right now. So let's go to my paint bucket tool, fill, and it looks like it doesn't want to get that little piece up there. That's fine, being extra sensitive. And I'm just going to toggle over to a dark gray. So we have a multicolored umbrella. Might give us a little bit of effect of depth here. Test this movie. And there we have the top of the umbrella. I really don't need to see those strokes. So using the selection tool, V will take me over there. I'm just going to double click on the strokes. And we don't need them anymore. All right, now we're going to draw the handle for the umbrella. In my properties panel, let me just uh, go to my pen tool, properties, and I'm going to draw a very thin line starting out. And I'm just going to click and drag a point right here. And when I click and drag, this tangent handle here is saying that the curve is going to try to follow that line. So when I draw another point over here and drag up, I can get like a perfect U, basically perfect. And then I'm just going to shift click again and you'll see that I drew a perfect J. I'm going to select all those pixels, go to properties, and let's just make that about 14 pixels wide. So now it's fat. It's almost like a fill. I'm going to cut off the top like so. Uh, maybe uh, jig that down a little bit more. And uh, let's just click and drag all the way down here. We'll center it. I'm going to go over to my rectangle tool, we'll kill our stroke, we'll add a nice little gradient, and I'm just going to draw a very, very thin little post here. All right, and I don't have time to really clean up that gradient very much, but as you can see, we now have our umbrella.